Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jocelyn and in today's vlog is going to be another continuation of these moving series. So if you guys are new here, I highly suggest to subscribe if you guys this type of content like moving vlogs decorating with me getting settled and just trying to decorate and make this apartment a home today is a monday april 8th and on today's day i haven't had no wi-fi i tried coffee shops i tried everything my power and nothing is working so finally my lander reached out to me so we're gonna get into this today i'm so unaware about a lot of things that they never told me it is insane when i'm moving here this was the leasing office no idea and that's the reason why i have issues with the water at first which thank god is fits then i have issues with the ac is fits again but all these things they needed to really take care of it before i even got here and now as far as the wi-fi it seems like the wi-fi is included in my utilities which i didn't know so what i'm trying to call my provider to put the wi-fi here they are saying we're not authorized but when i went to check the part that they have like all these cables together it looks like a breaker type of box but it's not they had the modern they had the router the wi-fi is running because all of this is connected i mean the thermostat, the smart door lock and all of that is just connected with the wi-fi so it's like okay so it's a lot of things that i haven't been aware because they never told me you know so we're getting that situated today because I need my content out as soon as possible. Y'all been extremely sick for the past three days. I'm talking about extremely sick. Sore throat, fever, chills. I have body pain. I mean, congestion. All that you can think about. Everything started as an allergy. When I went to work, I was close to the doors and it was very cold that day. It was like 40 degrees and I immediately got sick. I'm talking about physically. I went to Starbucks. I grabbed me a hot tea and an oatmeal. And when my throat started hurting, I feel like something was stabbing me constantly. It was bad. It was really bad. Right now, my ears are a little bit closed. I mean, it's just bad. I was like, can I just catch a break? <laughs> it's so much to unpack in this apartment that you guys will have no idea. And the last thing I want to be is sick, to be honest. But I'm doing a great job today. I actually feel a little bit better. I got up. I did an avocado toast this morning. I got a hot tea. I got this yesterday from the grocery store. Let me show you guys real quick. I went yesterday to do like a tiny grocery haul because I needed some Kleenex. I needed some coarse tea and just fruits and things to feel better, you guys, because it's been bad. I mean, when I get sick that way, which normally I don't, I cry. Like, I get in my freaking feelings. Like, I just get really, really sick and bad. So, I got these joggy throat comfort. And it's been working wonderful as well. Rabitazine. I got Advil as well. So today is a day that I can tell you guys I feel so much better as far as being able to get up from the bed, take a shower, and just do what I need to do. I know it's not COVID. I mean, I'm so sure of that. Even though the symptoms are slightly the same that's the scary thing about covid like when covid started being a thing they was telling us that it's like a normal cold but a little bit more hotter so yeah i take this cold over the one that i got previously if you guys remember that video i was so sick i didn't want to remember that time it was bad i even got tested and i'm so sure that it was covid <laughs> so yeah this is a cold and probably it's gonna take me a few days to get out of it so i'm feeling so much better i was able to clean the kitchen and some of the areas i vacuumed the floors and i also got rid of my dishes so i'm so productive today i'm feeling so much better terrence got me some flowers to make me feel better he's so sweet i mean i never had nobody like him and i really want to do another video just going a little bit more in details because it's just it's just crazy i mean when somebody care truly shows with their actions the words and everything i mean i got a flat tire like two weeks ago 
these men left the job, came all the way here, and changed my tires. Himself, a night, okay? <laughs> I mean, I can go on and on the times that these men saved my freaking life <laughs> because it's just crazy. I lost my phone too. I lost my iPhone and these men left the job and he was very supporter. I mean, it's little things that it's not even little for me. These are huge things that I'm not used to have someone taking care of me. And it just feels so good having someone that truly cares about you and it will do anything for you so he's very big on flowers he constantly brings me flowers and as soon as i got the apartment he was like oh i'm missing something i'm coming right back I said, where are you going he was missing flowers i was like you don't have to go right now like you're good it's so sweet i'm about to show you guys the arrangement and some others in my bedroom as well i'm trying to get my bedroom situated my bedroom has been a disaster including that i've been also sick i mean literally today is the day that i can say my apartment started looking a little bit better because it was a mess <laughs> so let me show you guys the updates around my apartment real quick first of all i'm not really big on like colorful colors but it's something about when i get this type of flowers it made me feel so good and he told me well you have a lot of like white roses around so i kind of wanted to create some contrast so i thought about you know bringing some flowers like that so you can see he still bring me some white and some baby breath which these are my favorite ones but these roses are so beautiful and this right here they're supposed to look like this so they still trying to get out they're so gorgeous i mean i had to probably change the water he actually put this together as well because <laughs> i was heading to work and i forgot to put them up on water so he was like oh don't worry about it i got you so they look so pretty i'm obsessed with them and i think they just add this colorful thing they just look so good these are the other ones that he got me and they've been holding on very well now because i'm being very sick i've been using a lot of heat you guys know how it is with the heat and the flowers never go together something i had to work on because i truly love roses and flowers but i always had the heat on but right now i had the ac on so it should be better but they look so beautiful he also put them together he did the best he could but i was like oh my god this looks so cute you know so love that i put them here for now because i have flowers everywhere like where i can put them at first i wanted them here but again i have flowers everywhere so kitchen is looking very good honestly and going to the room i had to do the bed there is the protector for the mattress and i decided to move this fireplace over here this is a work in progress this might change but i just needed a fireplace over here just to create that coziness i think it looks so pretty over here again this probably changed because i changed my mind so many times here's my closet area it's looking pretty good let me turn on the lights i'm trying to coordinate things as colors goes so i have my black beiges browns and kind of like pink and grays and this is just here because i had nowhere to put it and this is more like you know right now for the cold but spring is here so i'm about to use my guest room for those clothes just to hold them like the summer and spring clothes but i just feel like we get more like cold weather than anything so i'd rather just keep them here and right now i have these crates only one for like my purses but i might just gonna bring more over here just to put like let's say my shoes and stuff like that and also extra purses but it's how we're looking so far i decided to move this dresser in my walk-in closet so that i have more space but so far it's working very good yes you guys i cannot wait to do like a full apartment tour i'm not even gonna try to like rush the process i just moving here so it's a lot to to do and tackle anyways um so yeah it's a lot so i'm not even gonna try to rush the process like oh my god i need an apartment tour even though i know you guys want to see it but it takes time but i'm so proud of this bathroom i don't even show you guys that because again i've just been blogging like crazy all right so this is the guest bathroom and i'm so obsessed with how it came out so it's a few things i want to add of course but for the most part i think i'll be doing a great job just maintaining the decor and the vibes and everything i had these things from amazon like dressa j said in one of her videos she mentioned that she had these things even before they got popular and it's so true i remember just looking for things that look realistic 
lipstick and i'm kim across with these and now they're all over on tiktok instagram youtube it's the most recommended themes and i truly love them i will link them down below in my ltk but yes you guys they are so pretty they're so full there's only two themes over here and look how full they look like amazing so this is what i have and i decided to put this face from happy lovey this tray is vintage from a local vintage shop and i just decided to put like beautiful towels over there ideally i wanted three but the set came with like six so they're pretty much in everywhere in the house right now just for convenient purposes but eventually i would like to have like another one over here it will look so cute and aesthetically pleasing i had this vintage tray that i got from golden oldies and i decided to put a humpkin's candle and some palo santo it's so cute i wanted this guest bathroom to be like a spa bathroom you know what i mean and when you come in you feel like you're in vacation everything is clean and yes so that's how it looks like and over here i decided to put this from amazon this is from hobby lobby as well the candle and this is what i want to change of course because it's not cute but right now i'm just trying to use the last thing that i have left and then i can just go ahead and purchase something better just to go with the aesthetic of the theme in the bathroom and over here honestly i don't think i'm gonna hang up this like i was just pulling things out of my box to see what i have right now so i might just change this as well the pot but that's a work in progress y'all and over here of course i need a <laughs> shower liner or shower curtain what you guys call because yeah and i don't have no guests over or anything but again it would be nice to have this extra shower and stuff like that so that's how we are looking so far and i'm obsessed loving this kitchen area it looks so cute again i don't know if i mentioned this because i've been blogging like crazy so again i don't know what i said before and i apologize if i keep repeating myself but i ideally would like to have like lighter cabinets and lighter countertops but it's okay that's why i'm bringing my warmth and my lighter colors and greenery and stuff like that just to balance it out a little bit coffee and sugar over here as well just to do instant coffee if i want to and just a few things over here kitchen is looking bomb so far and living room I'm about to take off this lamp it's just driving me crazy it looks so bland over here i mean it's cozy and nice but it looks so bland i need like a black lamp or maybe a brown one something like that but this one has to go somewhere else he's been very comfortable you guys like he's been just enjoying seriously the apartment in the dark part it's just i'm so happy for him to be able to be in a place where he's completely happy and look at that I have the AC on as well so I know he's like very very comfy. I still have in this situation right here had to fix the pots real quick but it's okay for now. I want to put these two frames on this wall. These are the ones that I was about to return and I'm glad I didn't because these are so pretty. Seriously against the wall over here one and two. Oh my gosh. Nothing has changed here on the dining room. Everything looks pretty much the same. Still obsessed with my bar area. Definitely want to purchase those two mirrors. Again, it's certain things that are party right now, so I'm not really tripping about it. But eventually, I want to buy two large arch mirrors over here so they can open up the space. And I know they're going to look so beautiful. So right now, I'm working with the decor that I have on the hand. But I'm really happy with the results. I think these turned out very beautiful and I'm obsessed with it. I did some pasta yesterday so am i gonna go ahead and eat part of the leftover and just keep going with this unpacking thing honestly i just want to feel settled i think i'm getting there but i've been living here for officially a week i think so i also had to reschedule my doctor's appointment because by that time that was like my normal days off now my schedule changed so I need to reschedule and hopefully they don't reschedule me too far because i really want to track my pre-diabetic journey which i'm no longer pre-diabetic but i want to just double check on that and i also want to double check on the cholesterol which this is why she want to see me she wants to see the cholesterol if it's better now which i don't think so because i've been doing a really bad job with the move i just been eating so much crap outside like non-stop and, and i'm not really proud of that so i just started eating clean now like a few days i went for grocery shopping i'm pretty sure you guys saw that in my previous vlog and i grabbed so many things and i just been cooking at home and i love cooking like i actually love cooking i just been incorporating a lot of veggies and turkey for example I like bacon so i use the turkey bacon right or for example yesterday i did pasta so i did the turkey ground so just healthy ways you know to keep everything going as far as juices i like cranberry as well so and just a lot of water just because i'm being sick so i'm trying to go back to the habits of eating clean drinking clean and just stay healthy because I don't want to be in that stage where I needed to 
read how many cards how many sugars that was so annoying like seriously annoying i don't want to be in that stage no more so i'm gonna have to reschedule my appointment but hopefully she can take me very soon because i really want to see how my cholesterol is doing because i've been a bad girl hi baby you guys i'm about to go ahead and chill i'm trying to get in contact with the wi-fi company just saw this situation by the time you guys see this video all these vlogs should be up because it's no way for me to upload them i already went to coffee shops i already went to starbucks i look for public libraries um you want to go outside again i just took you out you want food i got you so yes y'all um i'm about to just chill out for a little bit finish unpacking and i'll see you guys later first of all let's apologize with these boys <laughs> you girl has been sick for the past five days okay five days right now i'm kind of losing my voice and it is so annoying i'm like god can i please catch a break <laughs> I mean, wanted to do a housewarming. I mean, wanted to do a trip. I mean, wanted to go on a date. I mean, wanted to do so many things and I haven't been able to. My hair has been looking like this since I moved out. I mean, it's been such a mess, okay? Um, I started feeling sick five days ago and I remember I had allergies. So I was like, okay, it's just allergies, you know, itchy. I remember one night I went to work and I have a really bad allergy. Those allergies that you just feel like your throat is very itchy, like those allergies you guys know. And it's allergy season, it's spring, so of course it's expected. But that night it was like 40 degrees and where I worked had some of the duct doors open and I mean all the cold, I was just there. I mean literally getting all the cold and i would say it was a mix between the allergy and the cold i'm guessing i was very vulnerable to just get a cold easily just because i already was like with muckers and you know what it is when it comes to allergies you're already feeling sick not even being sick so yeah that day i came home early I remember leaving early I was like I need to go and I feel bad because during all these transition from the job and moving out I just been requesting days and I feel bad but I mean the good thing they understand but I was extremely sick that day it didn't took me hours to feel bad that it that was instantly and I got this fever these chills I got home I got like two blankets on me plus stuff like this yeah I was cold and yeah, it was cold, but not the way that I was feeling. So I was like, yeah, and I'm catching a virus, I know. Then my throat was hurting so bad. Literally, I never have a sore throat like this ever in my freaking life. I'm telling you for real. Like, I've been having sore throat before, but this right here, it was something different. I was like, what the? <coughs> Excuse me. So yes, you guys, it was very, very bad. And I don't want to keep talking about my sickness, but... I was not feeling a little bit better. I'm just losing my voice. I mean, I guess it's part of it. I think I'm in the stage where I'm healing now because for the past few nights, I've been waking up. I've been having pain. I've been medicating myself so much. I mean, seriously. Oh my gosh. And apartment is pretty much done. It's just still a few things I have to take care of. <coughs> but anyways, y'all have my glass of water and I have my Stanley, but I want to use it while I'm sick because I need to freaking clean it very well whenever I heal. So I just have a glass of water and I'm about to head out to Dollar Tree because the next project I want to do right now is to work on our bathroom. The master bathroom has so much little things like my deodorant, face scrubs and lotions and things for my hair. A bunch of stuff that I need beans for all of that. Because right now they're in my counter top. It's easy access. I mean, I just move in here like when i would say almost two weeks now so yeah it is crazy it's currently three o'clock it's wednesday 10 and i'm so excited because finally i'm able to upload three videos for you guys which by the time you guys see this video again these videos should be uploaded already 
because you guys i mean it's been so many issues with this apartment before i even got it and when i got it too so thankfully everything is getting fixed um they're about to put the internet on monday 15 so that's cool um so i've been going to coffee shops and stuff like that let me put you on if you're a content creator and you're looking for a good wi-fi to upload your videos Go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts is so freaking underrated. Like seriously, I went to Starbucks, I went to a coffee shop nearby, I went to different locations, and the Wi-Fi is good just for search, Google, like little stuff like that. But you're looking for a really good Wi-Fi to upload your videos, Dunkin' Donuts is phenomenal. Let me tell you, I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts. I don't like donuts, I don't like none of that. But I was so desperate to really get my videos up. And I came across to, I think it was an article on Google, and they were pretty much saying, if you're a content creator and you're looking for public Wi-Fi, Dunkin' Donuts is the way to go. Highly recommend. My videos were uploaded like in less than 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? That's phenomenal. I mean, I was able to literally upload three videos today. So yes, today you guys should be able to see my moving vlog video uh, at 6.30 p.m. So I'm very excited. Very late on the game, but you guys, I enjoyed it. The eclipse. Oh my goodness. That was so beautiful. Like, the times that that happened, I never had the chance to watch it. Number one, because I don't have the safety glasses or I'm just very busy working, doing something. I was able to enjoy it, you guys. The smallest things in life bring the most happiness in your life. Seriously. I mean, I almost cried over something like that. I was like, God is so amazing. The way that he put this work together. The way that the moon and the sun. I mean, come on. I don't want to put my beliefs on blast because I respect everybody's beliefs. But if you don't believe in God... Please believe in someone that created all of these things because there's no way a human being or somebody just did it. Like, this is awesome. Look around. Look around. Like, how amazing is God? I enjoyed that clip set. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. I had my safety glasses and it was so good. All right, so we're about to head out to Dollar Tree. We're about to get some storage beans. Um, I'm bringing my camera just in case if I see something interesting over there. I'm going to Dollar Tree because it's more cheaper. You guys know I'm on a budget right now. I'm not trying to splurge too much. But yes, you guys, we have to get our life together. Okay, so I see they have these storage beans over here. They got it in black. I might get these colors more like a cream. And they have white ones too. So I'm about to just get a couple ones that are only $3. That's not enough for us. So let me grab a couple ones. Hey babe, got a little bored so I'm doing this. I'm sorry, you feeling sick? Uh, I'm not acting like you're gonna see this. <laughs> um, no, but. I got some stuff set up for you. Yeah, got some chips, coconut water, the soup that you like. Um, got a whole bunch in here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I say I only get like a few, but I got a whole bunch just in case. You never know. Also, a little bit of backup uh, coconut water and some uh, plantain chips if you feel like it. Got this if you want, you know, the vitamin C, sore throat. I know you say you don't like that, but I got that too out there in case you need it. And the sinus, uh, sinus congestion relief. There are food. I got the weaker version, all right? See, I got the weaker version, all right? The weaker version, so you ain't got to worry about the bitterness and the taste of all that. I got you. I got you. Max, want to say hi too. I said, what's up? I was a little zoomed in. Hold up. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to the camera. Is it good? Nope, that's still zoom. <laughs> uh oh, hold on. Let me let me zoom out. I'm not used to this. There you go. Boom. Max, want to say what's up? What's up? He said he he said he's uh, uh sorry he's sick as well. Um, and a bowl for your little soup. I mean, I'm gonna cook it up for you, but you know. And then this is my little meal I got. You know, since you, uh, since I got the little uh, the, the Campbell's soup. I tried the little beef. I'm about to have it. Alright. <laughs> nice to talk about today. Uh, but got some of the mashed potatoes. Put a little bit of soup on top. 
No, just to uh, use a little bit of mashed potatoes. Plus, you know, mashed potatoes aren't bad. Uh, I clean all this up in water. Oh. You're loud right now. I already took him out. I don't know what he want. Uh, I'll clean up the scene. Don't worry about it. I'm just, uh, uh, just walking around right now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you're sick. Um, but I did what I could. I'm doing what I could. I'm doing what I can. I'm trying. Um, I miss you. <laughs> I miss you so much. As soon as you step out the house and you're like sick. Like you loud today. You loud. Look at him. Look at him. He's acting up. Why are you acting up? What you acting up for? You being crazy. But yeah, I miss you. Um, and uh, Max is feeling some type of way. He, he really sad. He's sick. I'm sorry for the hair, man. I, 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 the hair is just uh. -uh. But anyway, I miss you. I love you. Uh, I'll see you when you get home. Uh, yeah, that's it. Who that's from? <laughs> All right, so I did the best I could. Um, I'm not used to making couches. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> so hope you uh, hope you like it. Um, I chopped the pillows. Yeah, clean up the fur, which I'm pretty sure he's gonna make. Like right back to where I was in five minutes, but it's okay. Uh, okay, this is a little, this is a little ugly compared to that one. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know how to chop pillows, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure you'll make it your way when you get to when you get here. Sorry. But there you go, chop. Yeah, yeah. And there's a little culprit right there. Um. Yeah. I mean, I guess if he put his, oh, we gotta clean up his food too. All right. All
All right, well, you gotta look at all that. We can do that once you get a little bit better because I don't know where this stuff goes. But, yeah, I clean up a little bit. Um, I guess I can do the bed. Yeah, I'll go do the bed right now. I know you got your own way of doing it, but I mean, at the very least, I can sort of, you know, clean up the covers. I dump Siri for Alexa. Okay. I know it's not the prettiest. Oh, I know it's not the prettiest, but I tried. <laughs> well, let me get, actually get this little light thing going on. Excuse the mess on the table. Okay. So, oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at all that lighting. All right, and I zoomed in way too far. Beautiful. All right. It's a little wrinkly. I know. I don't know how to get the wrinkles out. I'm not good at this. All right. <laughs> Let's try to do something nice. I don't know how to get the wrinkles out. I'll learn. That's okay. And I keep zooming in like 500 feet. But it's done. Wrinkly again. I learned how to fix that. It's all right. Um, yeah. Well, anyway. Why is it zooming in, bro? <laughs> it keeps zooming in. Anyway, uh, I don't know why I made this video. I just got bored. Um, I miss you. I love you. If you see this, um, and uh, I'm gonna be waiting till you get home. Love you. Hi guys. So. I'm just so speechless with what I just watched and I'm pretty sure you guys just watch it. It's the clip before this one. I was completely unaware that this man took my camera while I was working and did all this preparation. I remember coming home and I saw all of that in the countertop. I gotta post a picture about that day because I couldn't believe he put all these things on a countertop because I was very, very sick. As you guys saw previously in my previous vlogs, I've been very sick and I'm still sick. I'm feeling a little bit better and it's cute. My hair, it's cute, my appearance. I've been just trying to get recovery from whatever is this. I think it's flu or something, but this hit me very hard. I mean, seriously. So I'm here just, you know, getting all these videos for you guys together and I'm here editing and I remember, I think yesterday, he told me, oh, I, I was practicing something, but I didn't elaborate, I didn't ask, I was like, oh, okay, you know, he said something about a video, so I thought he was just like, with his phone or something, because he's not like, I mean, he don't mind social media, but he's not like a really social media person, which is fine, but he really do enjoy being on my content, and I never forced him to be on my video, so it's completely voluntary, he really do love to be on my content and support me so when he say that like i was practicing i thought he was just meaning about doing like a reel for his phone or something and now like i'm pulling all these videos literally right now i have to like kind of like stop the editing for this because these men did a whole vlog by himself turning out the space while i was working and just putting all my medicines in a kind of top he put a bowl ready for soup like i mean seriously marry me <laughs> i'm freaking ready i'm literally ready 
Yes, I do. <laughs> like, are you serious? Like, we're about to do a story time and also a Q&A. I actually posted on my community page on YouTube. You guys have a lot of good questions that we're about to definitely answer. Because when I'm telling you, I never had anybody treat me like this before. And he even told me that's so sad because the type of person that you are, you should get this treatment a long time ago. You deserve flowers every time. You deserve the best. And... You know, it's lack of boundaries. You know, it's lack of self-love when I was younger. Um, I've been open on this on my channel before. And again, we're gonna elaborate more about this whenever, you know, we sit down and do like a story time or something. But I grew up in a household that love, it wasn't present. Like, never seen my parents, you know, actually like, touchy or like loving each other the only affectionate person was my dad constantly telling me how much he loved me and how great i'm doing at school or stuff like that my mom never say anything so parents i'm not a parent yet but this is what i'm saying it's very important to teach your kids that you love them unconsciously because you know i've been doing a lot of research about psychology and all if i mentioned this before besides my realtor job i want to also be a psychologist because I got so invested. I really wanted to know what's wrong with me. And it came to the conclusion that, you know, the lack of love that I have from my parents and growing up, it leads me to don't have self-love with myself and ended up in bad relationships that any little thing that they did for me, it could be the smallest thing. I was like, oh my God, this person loved me. Because I don't know what love is, never had it. So whatever little attention you gave me, that's better than nothing. That was my mentality, right? And of course, after having bad, toxic relationships, and I'm about to be 31, you know, I kind of know the game now. And I was like, I'm not settling no more. I'm not. I'm not that desperate. I know I can wait for somebody to actually see my worth and can love me and Terrence came to my life just like that and I mean I mean seriously I don't have no eyes for nobody else like I'm, I'm stuck <laughs> I told him I'm stuck with you and he said the same thing it's beautiful to be in a healthy relationship it's beautiful when somebody truly cares about you and not just this little vlog that he did like it's he done so many things you guys so many things I don't know if I included the video about the Easter basket if not I'm gonna include some videos over here he did two baskets of easter for me full of chocolates the stanley um a bunch of things that he got me he got me an air tag because i literally lost um i think i lost my keys at some point i mean seriously i don't know i'm speechless and i want this video to be an inspiration for everybody if you're around my age or even younger doesn't matter actually the age don't settle I did it so many times thinking that that was all I could get and a lot of you guys know kind of like my story a little bit and you guys knew like I wasn't happy in my last relationship but I was pretending you know I was just like keep pushing it's fine you know things gonna get better and nothing was getting better uh, we broke up you know last year around my birthday <laughs> it was very rough that was when I did the goodbye video, like temporary goodbye, when I needed some time for myself. And I took a month, I think. And I don't know, since I came back, my content got better. I've been healing and I met wonderful friends. I met Terrence and I don't know. Sometimes you have to let some things go in order to receive what you deserve. And I said this before, I watched Steve Harvey before, and one of his show, he said something about, if you want a new car, you have to take away the old car that doesn't work, that is parked in the driveway, because you're not gonna have no space for the new car. And it's just like a little analogy to really like understand that sometimes you really have to remove and just let it go. Don't hold on to things because you think it's gonna change for potential. When people show you who they are, that's how they are. You're not, you're not nobody super special that is gonna make somebody change. 
drastically. People have to change for themselves. So yeah, we're gonna do a QA and a in story time. I mean, definitely um, speechless and I love these men so much, um, seriously. He is so great. I mean, I told him how you can be hot, fine, and wonderful at the same time. <laughs> he was like, what you mean? Like, you had the whole package too. Like, you know. Yeah, we we made a cute couple, honestly. And we truly care about each other. But yeah, he's just the best thing that ever happened to me. I never experienced love like this ever in my life. And... Whenever I have my kids, I want them to see this example. I want them to know what love is. So they don't go through the same things that I've been through when I was younger, trying to find the boy that I was missing in my family. So yes, stay tuned for story time. Stay tuned for a QA. and uh, a We're planning to do it tomorrow, if not Tuesday. You guys will get that vlog right after this one. We also want to go to Golden Aldi's because they have a whole spring market special that is gonna last until the 17th, I believe. So I wanna see what they have. I might not purchase anything, but I just wanna see what they have. I have in mind something that I really want, but over in that, I just wanna take you guys with me and check it out. Cause you guys love that video when I went to the Golden Aldi's. I mean, seriously. One of the videos that got very successful during the time that I uploaded. So we're about to go there again, check things out. Again, they have these um, spring sale going on. And but tell you guys in this video, probably the spring sale is gone. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna try to post something on Instagram so you guys can follow. But yes, y'all, I'm about to close this vlog. Um, Sorry if this vlog was very chatty. I just being extremely sick right now. I have a bad headache right now. Uh, we just ate and I'm about to just probably get some medicine. Um, gonna call my baby real quick. Babe. Yeah. <laughs> this man is fine. Go uh, here. Sit down with me real quick. First of all, I want to say thank you for everything that you've done for me during all this time. <laughs> My goodness. Right now. And you know, while I was working, like you did a whole little vlog and everything, what inspired you to do that? <laughs> Hello, y'all. I have to put it on the patio real quick. What inspired you to do what you did and I don't know, get everything set up because I was sick and you went and buy all these things for me and you vlog it and you put the couch together. Like, what inspired you to do that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you do so many things for me. I mean, Again, I keep bringing up about how, you know, you met me at my lowest and made me happy again, you know? You deserve that. You do. <laughs> mm. You was nervous when you did the vlog? Yeah, <laughs> extremely. Yeah, I'm trying to get some more time in front of the camera, you know, just to practice. It's okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll eventually do vlogs too. Ooh. <laughs> he might get started his channel. I've been telling him that we should start like a podcast. So mm. it's probably not going to happen right now, you guys, because my schedule is going to be easy. I'm trying to go back to school. There's a lot of things that we have planned. We want to do more trips and more vacation and, you know. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested if we ever start a podcast. I was literally thinking about we can use the second room and just get it set up as a podcast studio and just buy the equipment Best Buy got it very cheap like affordable they had like a star pack like podcast that comes with like the mic and everything a little starter pack yeah so we can definitely um, do that I just don't know if people would like to watch and <laughs> I think it would be good to kind of like talk about healthy relationships talk about Whatever, honestly, it can be like an open topic. 
in our podcast not right now maybe months later or something because it's a lot of things that we had uh, in mind he wants to start a school as well i want to start we're trying to get settled first and do more tricks and because we haven't been a trick yet you know and stuff like that and yeah it's a lot of things that we want to do before we start doing these things but i just really want to know if you guys are interested to hear this amazing voice <laughs> over and over mm. right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes you guys um it's something that i have in mind for a long time but i was thinking to start my podcast by myself but then i met him and i was like you have the voice for it like everybody in the comments go crazy about your voice that's okay <laughs> your voice is beautiful appreciate it thank you yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, just wanna say thank you for everything that you've done, the gifts. And I also wanted to say, do you guys remember this vlog? <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys remember this vlog where I was just saying that someone gave me um, some gifts? It was this gentleman. <laughs> I don't know why he spent so much money on me, but he got me the Dior. Mm. He got me the Valentino. <laughs> I never had this before, okay? Never, 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 never. Like, I was like, oh my God. And this man wasn't even my boyfriend yet. Why well, you love me so much? It's hard not to. Ah! <laughs> yes. That's cute. I love you. I love you too. So much. Wait, I'm do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. <sighs> Anyways, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You're about to close this vlog. Oh, you should close the vlog. How do you close it? <laughs> okay, just say, mm -hmm. um, all right, you guys, I'm about to close this vlog for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, like, comment down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All the social medias will be linked in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. No, the kids. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I remember all that. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, what's, what's the line? We're about to close this vlog, right? Two times. <laughs> okay. I'm about to close this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And don't forget to follow the socials down in the description box down below. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>